recorded July 1st, 2024. Good afternoon, Ray. How are you doing? Good afternoon, Edward. I am doing fantastically well. How are you doing? Obviously, I'm in a self-driving car. If I'm doing the podcast, obviously, in my thing. So mm-hmm. I'm just letting it do it for me. Uh, of course not. <laughs> no, I wasn't able to get back to where I'm going in time to get a proper uh, location to do it. So, hey, you know, that's all right. It's nice We're doing it live. Like We're doing it live, and it's going to be amazing because it's always amazing because you, just, you just make it happen. Doing it live is amazing. Doing it dead is when it's not amazing. There you go. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Yeah, let's not do that and everything. But hey, there's just me and you on the show. Uh, Brody's out because he had a baby. And uh, Rod's out because he got the worms. He's sick. So it's just two of us left. Two of, two of the Highlanders left. Everybody yeah, else. But I, I, there can only be one in the Highlander lore. But this is the next generation of Highlander. So I'm, I'm happy to, yeah. to be the deputy. So this is going to be a short show uh, to our listeners. There are no guests this week. Happy uh, Independence Day, um, you know, coming up this week. This is a day where we celebrate Will Smith saving us from the aliens by introducing a zero-day exploit to a super advanced alien species computer system. And they crash. How realistic is that? So that is, that is Independence Day for us. Will Smith Day. Um, and uh, that's it. So what would you do between the last show and this show? Uh, <laughs> a lot of personal stuff to, to take care of, uh, work, uh, we're gearing up obviously as a fiscal year. And then I, um, still had some time to myself. Uh, there's a huge emphasis on learning and I'm very grateful for it. So I started, uh, my Cribble certification. So it's oh. the, the very basic, uh, Cribble user, uh, certification path, but, uh, I'm making some, some headway there. So I'm pretty excited to get that under my belt and then move on to the next. Yeah. I will probably need to go back and restart that. I did to where you did and I stopped because remember I started covering a different product, but now that I found I'm going to be back covering Sentinel full time, you know, that's a solution set, right? Being mm-hmm. able to have that as part of a solution set. And so I'll go back and throw my hands into it. You know, we had a great guest on the show from Cribble to talk about it. They have one of the best demo, you know, yeah. proofing labs to, to enable yourself, period. I mean, they give it to you. And you can you can come out of their training and know what you're doing, uh, you know within reason. You can't always duplicate all the data sources or the data scenario grouping situation scenarios, but I mean they get it right. Here's a place go play with the product. You know the more you use it, the more you're gonna ask questions, feel comfortable around it, and build um, and build confidence. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's cool. You're getting the cribble stuff done, so we're gonna we'll go ahead and nominate you the resident cribble expert. We'll go ahead and put that out there. So. Anybody listening to the show, if you have questions about Cribble, call Ray. Mm-hmm. There you go. Um, did I just did I age myself? Who knows this? What this is? If if you don't know what this is, then you're too young to talk to me. Yeah. <laughs> to talk to me. <laughs> the gesture go. of putting the, the the thumb and the pinky, the thumb to the ear, pinky to the mouth. That is the universal yeah. sign. That's that, that's that call center. Yes, yes. Anyway, I, to our listeners who are not seeing what we're doing, we're doing an old handset, which you use your hand as a, a, a mouthpiece and an earpiece like a phone, right? Yeah, we're old. You give it about 10 years of the, the handsets that we knew as far as communication, they literally would be built into your head. Yeah, nearly. Your earpiece yeah, would be the phone touch, and everything. Yeah, I'll yeah. touch my temple and I'll start yeah. calling. Yeah, you'll be able to see stuff that come up in your field of vision. Uh, like Minority Report, right? All right, well, I see that you get some stuff. It's quiet time. It is getting ready to be a holiday uh, week um, for myself. Um, I cleaned up some AD stuff I wanted to go do in my lab. I'm I, I'm battling a, a, a Morocco licensing issue. So when our guest comes on to talk about Morocco? it, I'm gonna put, yeah, I'm going to put him out there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I need to return something and buy something and get some stuff fixed. But other than that, what else did I do technical? Um not too much some some studying for some stuff i wanted to do um i um i'm working on some ec uh council certification 
or some CISO stuff, um, writing out my learning path personally, just what I want to learn. I think I want to learn more about, you know, CSPM and I want to learn more about CNAP and a few other things. So you can't overload. So I'm just trying to make sure what's, what's relevant to my job that keeps mm -hmm. me that, And then you choose a little thing on the outside, just sort of, I won't say a hobby, but additional skill you have. Yeah. Um, not running much when my knee is not hurting, it's 152 degrees outside here in Georgia. So you can't go outside, mm -hmm. you know, um, but I'm looking forward to this. This, this is, this is one of the good July 4th holidays because it's on a Thursday. So people are bouncing on Wednesday and then they're out mm -hmm. Thursday. Some people are out Friday, I said, and Sunday, and then you'll get the same type of nice long weekend next year. It sort of sucks when the holiday falls on a Saturday, right? Because it's like a waste. Mm -hmm. So this is one of those good weeks. Um, and that's it. Uh, I'm excited about the shows that we got coming up. Uh, yeah. There's some of our guests in July. Yeah. But more than that, uh, you want to give us a quick little uh, sneak peek of what we got going on for August? Yes. Uh, so I convinced uh, you and Rod to be on board with having a dedicated space to focus on individuals who've had maybe an unconventional, uh, unorthodox path to cybersecurity as their bread and butter, right? Uh, and so I'm so totally stoked for the folks that we have on. I know you have a, a close friend and a, a, a longtime watcher of the show. And then I have folks that I have personally worked with who have incredible experiences, incredible diverse backgrounds, uh, who are cybersecurity professionals today, uh, and they're killing it. Uh, then there's a media influencer, LinkedIn presence, uh, who's very inspiring. Their story is incredible, uh, super impressive, and they agreed to, to join us on the show. So I think it's gonna be such a, a wonderful conversation with each one uh, of those individuals. And I, I'm just excited that I, I get to share time with them to, to yeah. connect yeah. with and, and share their stories with folks in the community. Yeah, I'm really interested because when you say unconventional way of getting into a particular industry, it sounds really counterintuitive that you have to back your way into cyber, especially from a non-IT related background. When everything you hear that there's not enough cybersecurity professionals, I, I, I won't steal the thunder from the August show because I want to reiterate, but it seems to me that's not the case. It seems to be there's not enough people in the industry just willing to give people a shot, a chance yeah. right, to change the way they go about looking for talent. And so we want to highlight how people have gotten in when they don't follow the, the well-worn path, right? Mm -hmm. And we're going on to succeed. And I think it's going to be a really good month in August for that. Um, and so we got that going on for August. Something is striking me that we had another theme month. I, can't, I don't remember if it's October or, or not, but Christmas is always a good time because we have our annual little Christmas show, Christmas party, people dressed up. But I'm speaking that far out, but it will be here. Yeah. It's July 1st. I do not know what the, the, the first half of the year went. It just went. Um, and I'm, I'm welcome with some time off. So, you know, um, I'm going to work on, I'll geek out a little bit. I finally got my drone updated with a new flight pass because somehow I got downloaded a no fly zone when I used to be near the airport. So my drone wouldn't go above 50 feet. So I overrode the, uh, the just casually your drone. Yeah, there's it's a it's been grounded. My drone, <laughs> just yeah, because I used to stay so, really close to the airport, and there were a lot of uh, approaches. why would you do that? Why, why are you like what you like to fly close to the sun? You like to skirt with uh, a no, 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 I would never fly into a designated air zone. That's a good that's against the law. I could use lose my FCC uh, FAA license for that. No, but like a why. But why is it grout? What happened to the drone? What happened that I did a download, and because they upgraded the topology maps and geology, it figured that my residence was in a approach zone for the airport. So it, it made my drone not be able to go for a certain height. Um, you know, for whatever reason, because the airplanes are approaching coming mm -hmm. into the airport, and so 
I had already sort of modded my drone to where it thought ground zero was zero feet relative to earth. I really made it so it seemed like it was negative. So instead of my drone having a 600 feet, uh, 450 feet height level, I got it up to 700 feet. 700 feet is not really long. If you use, you know, what, what, 5,200 some feet is a mile. So 700 to 1,000 feet, you know, planes are coming in. By that time, they're already at the episode of the, of the runway. So, so I had to go back, sign some stuff, prove to where I live. They allowed me to do a firmware update, got my drone capability back, and then I locked them out. There'll be no more automatic updates to to uh, to the firmware in there. So I modded the uh, the onboard IC so that you they can't when I pull an upload, you can't override that anymore. It'll it'll stay that. Now, do I get all the enhancements? I'd have to go back, change it, but I'm good for it. So there are no technical controls that where if you jailbreak your device, you essentially jailbroke your device. There's yes. nothing that that says. Hey, if you do that, then your drone is no longer operational. Man, it's called Reddit and YouTube. You can find anything. Just figure out <laughs> how to do anything. <laughs> and so if I needed to get it back, I have two drones of the same model. There is a way you, you put it back and do all that. But now I'm in a very safe spot. I'm, I live north of Atlanta. I'm in the woods, you know, fly it off, chase birds. I had a red tail hawk that was really interested in this thing that was going around. So it was circling it, seeing. So that's all I'm doing. Got some friends in town uh, for the holidays, and that's it. It's going to be a good week. Stay out of the heat, drink too much beer, eat too much food. You know, that'd be, that's it for me. That's it. You know, I'm trying that's to, good. I'm trying to live the glamorous life like you are. Just chill me? out. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have a socially awkward life. <laughs> but yes, we'll go with glamorous. I think that that is the new term. Go glamorous. Yeah. So to our guests uh, and listeners, this was the Just Us show. Um, we do have a great list of upcoming guests across yeah. a range of topics. Big yeah. shout out to Ray and Rod, who <laughs> brought in 90% of the guests for the next few months, uh, and which is great. Brody will be back here soon enough. And we're going to have some fun. So we're going to let everybody, you know, take this day, enjoy the family, enjoy the week. This is the super short show edition. It's on a Monday, of course, July 1st. Uh, any chance you see an alien and you can upload a zero day export to save the planet, do it. Right. Aliens should buy EDR, protect their, their, their imports. <laughs> that's, that's the lesson learned there. Right. Wonder what they were using. Um, that's anything a B-sides like presentation. We have to make that a B-sides presentation, please. I will do anything to, to present that content, empower the world. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll focus group it. We'll workshop it. Yeah, we, 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 should, take a, we should take a science fiction uh, show or science fiction movie and see if we can apply some of the modern day text to solve the problem. Probably not, right? We'll see. Uh, what, like, literally, that is the only thing I do, like, keeps me going. If I, that is, I base my entire life on, like, science fiction media or, like, pop culture. That's how I, like, get in touch with humanity. And then, I, <laughs> and then I, you know, I create the parallel between the technical content that, that resonates with me. And then I, I, you know, I connect the dots. And for me, it's a, it adds whimsy, but it, it's also actually educational. So, yeah, I was watching. I was watching Star Trek Discovery, trying to just watch the last season. And when you talk about interplanetary space, even quantum computing is not sufficient. Even though you can have quantum entanglement and quantum spookiness, you'd have to have a way to basic uh, entangled computers to be able to map sectors you've never been to. So it would be a mesh network. What do they call it? Uh, subspace. Mm -hmm. Think about that the other day. Anyway, just, just casual. Just, just the lighthearted Edward thoughts. So you get lost in, yeah. This is just I'm, I, I'm, I, I minored in physics in, in college. I want to read your journals. I don't know. I just feel like I would be like actually brilliant as a human being if I just read your journals, but also I feel like it is very compelling material. Reading my journals, reading literally the book of the dam. <laughs> your eyes will start bleeding and you start speaking backwards that's I, okay I that that's just homeostasis for me so okay. <laughs> listen what? here neurotic spider yes i you remember oh goodness 
don't forget much. The bane yeah. of my existence. Don't forget much. Well, everyone, thanks for tuning in. Um, I, if you looked at the schedule on the website, you would have known that it was a Just Us show. Uh, if you go to our, our Substack page, the schedule is the source of the gospel and the truth. We are making sure that we put up upcoming guests just in case something, uh, someone really piques your interest. You can schedule that time to be available. Um, and if something isn't scheduled, it's pending. And we'd like to put out there, if you're a listener of the show and you want to come on and talk about cyber, talk about information technology, talk about emerging technologies, this is the show to come on. We are a show of highly opinionated facts. So please come on and bring your highly opinionated fact and uh, we'll have fun with it. So with that, um, is there anything else uh, you want to talk about before we go ahead and end the show? <laughs> no, I think you've covered everything. Uh, I'm just very excited. Hikey's next week. That's like, it'll be a different time too. Yep. The show, great, He's great incredible. reminder. Hikey, Ricky, Hikey, can you ever say her last name? Hikey Ritter. Ritter, uh, you know, Program Manager Extraordinaire, PM Extraordinaire for all things Defender, XDR, and Endpoint will be our guest on the show. Uh, there is a high probability if you've ever taken any mass learning one-to-many on a Microsoft Endpoint webinar, she is probably the creator or the facilitator of it. Yep. And uh, it's great. She was one of the instr uh, instrumental uh, people in creating the Ninja series for yep. MDR, MDO, MDI, MDCA, E I L U, uh, and the show next week will be at a different time. Yeah. Great reminder, right? It would be at eleven o'clock Eastern Standard. Yeah. Eleven o'clock next Monday, not the five o'clock. Eleven a.m., not eleven p.m. Eleven a.m. So, looking forward to that. So, with that, thanks everyone. Thank Do your you. thing. Don't be scared. <laughs>